Yeah, three out of 10. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we are checking out Travis Kelsey. Now this isn't usual for my channel because I'm used to reacting to professional singers. This happens to be someone that's dating a professional singer. So a lot of people are really interested to see what Travis can do considering He's dating one of the most famous pop stars right now, Taylor Swift. Maybe after this video, we'll determine if he's good enough to do a duet with her. But I'll warn you, I may or may not go easy. They've got cars, biggest bars, they got rivers of gold. But the wind goes right through you, no place for the old. When you first took my hand on a cold Christmas Eve, you promised me Broad Street was waiting for me. Huh, not bad. And also, not what I was expecting his voice to sound like. So for context, originally Jason Kelsey had invited his brother to come sing with him for this Philadelphia Eagles Christmas album that they're doing. So if you go and look at the other vlogs that they have of them in the studio, you know that they actually have like legit people helping these guys. They probably hired a vocal coach. They probably hired a really good producer and mixing engineer. So there probably is a little bit of auto-tune, but really this kind of seems like a good part of his voice. You were handsome, you were pretty. You're the king of South Philly. When the band finished playing, they howled out for more. The leathers were swinging, all the drums they were singing. We fought on a corner, then danced through the night. The sound of the Silver Ages choir all singing Galway Bay. And the bells were ringing out for Christmas Day. I like this Irish pub feel. Da, 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 da. That whole rhythm goes throughout the whole song, which is very Irish folk like, and I think that's how the original song was supposed to be. Cars make us bars, they got rivers of gold. And these two, like, big, burly men are kind of a good mashup for it. You can kind of tell the difference between the two. Jason kind of sounds more of like sea shanty and raspy and kind of digging in and a little more vocal fry in his voice. While Travis is kind of like smooth in this song, which you'll see in the other clips, that's not always the case. Check out this comment someone made. Choir teacher of 30 years here. Jason gives us the husky baritone voice with a touch of vocal fry technique. That's what I was talking about where you're kind of compressing your vocal folds so you get more of a uh, uh, sound in your singing. Powerful yet controlled. Travis gives us lyrical tenor purity and crystal clarity. I kind of want to disagree with that comment. Lyrical tenor, I don't think is the right way to classify him. He's more of like a baritone. He kind of speaks at the same level that I speak at when I'm in casual conversation. In my videos, I tend to speak a little higher, but I normally speak like this and down here on a daily basis, and that's where it's comfortable. Everyone has something called a tessitura, which is their most comfortable singing range. And for him, I believe it lives in that baritone range, so slightly below tenor. I don't think he has those high notes if you really pushed him for it. I think the reason that he's singing stuff in tune right now is not only because of autotune and mixing, but because it's in a comfortable range that he's used to speaking in. The diction is tricky because the song is quick with lots of words. Both brothers killed it. I could understand every word. And there's a lot of truth to that. Listen to the way they say the words. It almost seems like they're trying to catch up with themselves. Drums they were singing, we fought on a corner, then danced through the night. The sound of the silver ages choir all singing Galway Bay. And yeah, you can totally understand everything they're trying to say. It's not like an Ariana Grande. Which is kind of fitting for this whole folk vibe that's going on. Lastly, both singers have very distinctive voices, but when they sing in unison and in harmony, it's perfection because nobody blends better than siblings. That is so true. I have a big family with a lot of brothers that can sing, and when we sing together, we always blend immediately because we're just so used to hearing each other's voices. We know what to do in order to sound like the other person. If you've ever tried to imitate your sibling, you're always gonna do it better than somebody else because you've been around them longer. I could have been someone Well, so could anyone You took my dreams from me When mom first had you I kept them with me, Jace I put them with my own Can't make it all alone I built my dreams around you yeah, it's so nice to hear that smooth tone of Travis and that husky tone of Jason put together. It sounds really nice when they sing their harmonies and it's really locked down. Honestly, not that bad. I'd give it about maybe like a seven, 7.5. This is not that bad. But you also have to consider the Kardashians when they did their Christmas album. Think about what they sounded like in the studio. Santa baby, Santa. so hurry down Santa. the chimney tonight. 
so nice. So yeah, obviously there is some mixing at play that happens between when you're in front of the microphone versus what people see when you release the album. But I'll leave that decision up to you. If you know this song, sing along. Blame it all on my roots. I showed up in booze and ruined the Niners affair. The last one to know. We were the last one to show. We were the last one they thought they'd see there. And I saw the surprise, that fear in their eyes. And we took that glass of champagne, Pat. Pat took that glass of champagne, I promise you. When I took, and I toasted you. Honey, we do what I never Oh, 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 that's not healthy. Honey, we do what I never You know what that is? That is a night of drinking. That's a night of smoking. This guy is absolutely hammered while he's doing this. I guarantee you he's not even trying to sound good. Still, yikes. I got friends in low places. Even Pat is hammered too. <laughs> Everybody's hammered. You can't expect them to be on their A-game. Oh, I know that drunk fall too well. It sounds like the town drunk you want to steer away from when you're out at night. Unfortunately, I know that all too well. <laughs> What's crazy to me is that Garth Brooks was like, let's give you another chance to sing this song at the opening of my bar in Nashville. I'll send a plane if you want to come and get another shot at the title. <laughs> <laughs> of all people though, really? This is the guy you want to come sing the song with you? Eh, we'll give it a two. Somebody was like, this is Finn Hudson and Puck in real life. Assuming Jimmy is Finn and Puck is Travis. They're probably referencing this scene. You gotta fight for your right to fight. Your pops got you smoking, man. He said, no way. It's just funny because they're pronouncing the words so hard that it's like... Very Kids Bop like. With Kids Bop, you know exactly everything they're saying and that's just kind of the vibe. The other thing is they're not even trying to intentionally hit notes. There, there are no notes to hit. They're just shouting and this is just for fun. Someone was like, that guy in the purple shirt is not having it. Look at this guy. He doesn't even care what's going on. He wants no part of it. It's like he's not supposed to be there and he just doesn't want to be caught. Get those cameras out of my face. I think I'll give this one a six out of 10 because honestly, he's just having fun. He's not supposed to be hitting any notes. The song's not designed for that. It's supposed to be a shout song. He just, actually has fun with it, which is so wild to me. As soon as you become a professional singer, you just like stop having fun while you're singing. You're so focused on hitting all the right notes instead of enjoying the moment, which that seems to be the case with him pretty much all the time.
Honestly, if you take the fame away from him, he's just like any other guy that you would see doing karaoke. Like, at any random pub in any random town. He's not great, but he's also not the worst thing ever. He's hitting most of the notes. I think 70% is pretty good. Everyone's kind of all over the place about how they feel about it, though. Like, this is a thousand percent better than I would have thought. He actually kind of killed it. And he looks like he just has a blast wherever he goes. That's so true. He's not trying to be impressive. And that's, I guess, fine if you're just there to have a good time. Another person goes, he's so multi-talented, what can't he do? And people are also like, what can't he do? Singing too. <laughs> and maybe he's had a few drinks and that kind of affects how he sounds but honestly i'd love to do karaoke with him he's just a good time and that's i guess kind of all that matters really someone was even like he sounds like the Fortnite henchman this is wild to say that is so funny because it's so correct <laughs> he should be part of a video game with all of those noises he's making it's still a five Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! Viva! Viva Las Vegas! <laughs> oh poor taylor look at that face that is the face of the ick how could they do her so dirty and show her face at this moment? Of all people to put on screen, just leave the woman be. Back to his singing. He is just screaming. This man just won the Super Bowl. He, he's just screaming. He's not even trying to sing. And then the nerve of the announcer to say this. Elvis never had it better than that right there. Let me tell you. What do you mean Elvis never had it better? Are you kidding me? You can't even tell what the original song sounded like from that clip. For those of you that don't know. Viva! He's out of his mind for saying something like that. I, yeah. Don't put disrespect on Elvis like that. Are you kidding me? Now, what I would say to Travis if he were in the room right now taking a voice lesson is that you got to stop screaming so much. He is going to lose his voice so freaking fast. I lost my voice. The thing is, you can also be super excited about something and also hit all the right notes. He just needs the basic foundations like support and to train his ear so that he can hit the right notes when he wants to. I'd honestly make a bet that he has no falsetto. If he even tried, it'd probably just come out as air. He likes to keep everything in this chest heavy sound where he's naturally speaking. In the clips where he was actually hitting notes, everything is in that tessitura like I was talking about earlier, where it's most comfortable for him to sing. But if he were to get any bit better, he'd have to be training his ear to be able to hit and hear the notes that are higher than what he's comfortable with. Yeah, three out of 10.